What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Chefs React, and, and we're back with another video. video. What we got today, Sierra? Today, we will be reacting to Beyond Scared Straight. Ooh. Ten times that they crossed the line. Mm. Now, I've watched Beyond Scared Straight, and I was like, if I was in this situation, blah, blah, blah. So, I know y'all did the same thing, too. Let's see what they got. Let's, Let's see, see what, what they got. Is. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. We are on the Rose of 10K on here and on our family channel. Be sure to check out this pinned comment and support us there as well. Okay, let's get into the video. Let's go. Kimball. Number 10, Cedric and the Toilet. 15-year-old Cedric, Cedric initially Cedric. took his jail experience in stride, casually disobeying the guards and talking back. Unfortunately for Cedric, Things took a sharp turn when he was placed in a cell surrounded by inmates. While Cedric managed to get away with being rude to the guards, he seemingly had no choice but to respect the inmates. In one of the most disgusting scenes on the show, one inmate told Cedric to wash his noticeably stained underwear in the toilet. Of course, Cedric refused. Not happy with Cedric's nice. disobedience, though. The inmate then tried pushing Cedric's head into the toilet. Cedric was obviously disgusted. Although he luckily managed to walk away without having to touch the soiled underwear. Like, did he do that on purpose? Was it to scare him, maybe? While the Scared Straight program aims to scare teens away from the harsh reality of prison, you say it was real drugs. That the teens are safe That's what I said, like, did he poop on himself on purpose? The missing 1% comes from situations where the actual inmates get too carried away. An example of this occurred at the Floyd County Jail. After the teen inmates were placed alone in cells with the doors shut, the real prisoners were instructed to come and yell at the teens and bang on the doors in an attempt to scare them. The teens were safe in this situation, given that there was a big metal door between them and the prisoners. Okay. That is, until two prisoners took things too far when they somehow managed to force open the door to one of the cells. Instantly rushing in to yell at and push the teen offender. Oh when the guards noticed what was going on, their first priority was obviously the team's safety. Oh so, they did not hesitate to take it that too far. Something all the inmates to drop to the ground to avoid being shot. Wow. Number eight, SWAT extraction. Oh my Lord. Although this insane moment didn't actually involve any of the teen offenders, they managed to get a good look at the reality of prison life when a situation unfolded at the prison that resulted in the SWAT team being called. Something actually happened on that one. When an inmate refused to leave his cell, the teen offenders watched as the SWAT team stormed into the prison and used a taser that was strong enough to paralyze someone for five seconds to subdue the inmate. What's up guys, Robbie here. If you want to learn how to make a thousand dollars a day online in all of the teen offenders looked on in horror as they witnessed what an officer described as the result of someone not wanting to move. Not so, wanting to move? move. You have no Surely control over what you want to do. remind the teens that in prison, no. they have no choice but to do as they are told. There was a lesson to be learned in the chaos, though, as the teens were so shocked by the situation that most admitted that they would not be able to handle an extraction if it happened to them. This was definitely one experience that scared them straight. Number 7. Lay Fights Guard. It seems that most of the teens who appear on Beyond Scared Straight put on a tough act you want to hit me. Yeah. in a case where both the guard and team made poor decisions. 13 year old Lay went way beyond the bad attitude when she actually tried to punch a guard. It all started when the teens were forced to jog in place and the guard noticed that Lay had her fists full. While exercising some terribly bad judgment, the guard began to taunt Lay by saying things like, You want to hit me? And Hit me if you want to. Well, yeah, that's swung. exactly what Lay tried to do. Mm -hmm. Lay swung at the guard and thankfully missed her punch by inches. Graffiti. Her attempt to attack the guard quickly backfired, though, as she was immediately pushed down and restrained. Although Lay definitely should not have she tried to hit her, her the guard is also arguably to blame for her constant some time. people run with their fist ball. <laughs> I run with my fist ball. Number six, combing chest hair. While combing in chest hair. No. Get that taco These claims see. are often more for no. show than reality. Despite their claims being fake, the teens always manage to upset inmates who are actually gang members. Sixteen-year-old Kenneth is an example of what happens when they come across a wannabe. <laughs> Not me. He's flicking a wrist. Power. Kenneth and another teen named David were told to comb an inmate's chest hair. 
Good for him. was handed a comb mm -hmm. and actually started combing the inmate's chest area. The scene got even more disturbing as Kenneth refused to even touch the comb. His refusal resulted in another inmate getting extremely angry at the apparent disrespect. I was even to touch no comb. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, listen, look. Okay, look, bro. I... You got two huge guys in your face telling me, yo, comb my chest hair. Now, like, just, like, okay, I'm just, just not calm, calm your chest. See, that's how I know prison just not for me. It's like, because. Uh, like, you go your way, leave me alone. Like, it don't, comb it your don't, chest hair. I, and, and again, it don't work like that. You got to comb the chest hair. It's like inside of, inside of jail. I ain't combing nobody chest hair. I ain't, I ain't doing nothing. Touch nobody, nothing. I don't know if he knew he had guards around him, so he'd have been okay. He could have just he, said no. He was like, the, other guy, the other guy was like, I'm calling it, man. I'm going to tell He said, I ain't even touching the code. Bro, this is. Oh, Number five, races. Frank gone wrong. In another case of mealtime at the Oneida County Jail gone wrong, the male teen offenders witness what happened. Hey, face. He was scared. <laughs> He began to laugh while two inmates forced him to eat another team's meal. The guards seemingly let him get away with it, which made Darian think he could just get away with anything. Unfortunately for Darian, the guards were fed up with his smug attitude too. In a terrible prank gone wrong, Darian stood and turned very fast, acting as if he would try to run. Guards quickly restrained him and carried his handcuffed body out. Now, why would you do that? Why would you, why would you do that? He definitely learned a lesson that the guards at the Oneida County Jail do not joke around. Number four, restraint chair. The female teen in the Oh, God, that's so scary. The hard way, what happens when you disobey orders? After serving up a questionable meal of bread and rice, the guards and inmates were fed up with the teen offender's refusal to eat. One unfortunate teen got the worst of it all, as the guards decided to make an example out of her. So, for anybody who don't know, especially like you're really like just mad young, you, you, you know, you came across our video, the restraint chair is literally exactly what it's said to be. You have no... Like, Strength, physical movement at all, like from your head to your toes, everything. The most you can probably do is wiggle your fingertips. If that, like, but everything is like literally you locked down. Mm -hmm. There's nothing, nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. Don't let me. And this girl, like, she about to panic because, hold on, be, be, before you do, can you get claustrophobic? Yeah, yeah. Within the restraint chairs, even though you're still open to the area? Cause you locked down, you have no control. You know, you have control with everything. You can't, you can't do anything. Can't move. The guards put her in a cell, hoping that some time alone would help her realize she needed to work up an appetite. When this tactic didn't work, the guards resorted to a more drastic measure. They placed the teen in a restraint chair. As her fellow teen offenders watched, she was strapped down into a chair by two guards. As another guard mentioned, she would be completely unable to move and left in the chair overnight if she continued. Oh. It's safe to say that this team probably learned her lesson and will be finishing all of her meals from now on. She eating the food. Oh. The food is nasty. What well, do you got to understand? That's what it is. During a straight talk portion of the teen offenders present were in Suffolk, Virginia, one inmate got a little carried away. While talking to the teens, an inmate named Lasanda, who was serving a 10-year sentence, began throwing around tables and chairs as she confronted each of the teens one-on-one. -on -one. Apparently, the cameraman stood too close to Lasanda, who quickly yelled at him to get out of her face. The cameraman obliged, and Lasanda happily continued her rampage. That is, until the cameraman got in her way a second time. Unfortunately for the cameraman, two times was enough for Lasanda to snap and began making threats. The guards, who were concerned with the cameraman and team defender's safety, quickly pushed Lasanda out of the room. It goes to show that nobody is safe in prison, not even the cameraman filming your favorite show. Mm -mm. She literally threw a chair. Two, spinning on inmates. When given the opportunity to talk to inmates face to face, things often get a little heated. Between the teen offender's bad attitudes and the inmate's short fuses, it's easy to see how situations can get out of control fast. Caesar, who was in the Scared Straight program for stealing, was confronted by inmates telling him he isn't tough. 
as well as calling him a few names. This all proved to be enough to get on their sister's Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Did he spit? Put him in there! Put him in the cell with him! That's what this crap is screaming! Put him in there! Put him in there with me! Let me get him! Let me talk to him real quick! You know, ain't no good way ain't nobody to get talked to! Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what you... Get the inmates to shut up before shockingly spitting on them. Wow, he did spit. Caesar was immediately pushed against the wall by guards who yelled at him for spitting. It seemed like Caesar regretted his decision, though, as he asked the guards why they were letting this happen to them, only to be reminded that this is jail. Guards can't protect you at all times. Number one. Miles' rude awakening. Twelve-year-old thief and liar Miles got a rude awakening during his experience in the scared straight Twelve years old. Literally. Miles thought he was safe for the night after the teen offenders were sent off to sleep. Unfortunately for Miles, it is prison, and nobody's safe in prison. Wait a minute, Miles, what was this? I was <laughs> scared. Well, he, he must have was, okay, so they, they made him sell overnight and they broke him out of sleep? Yeah, Obviously. they woke him up out of his sleep. Bro, I've been there just kicking and screaming, he don't know about it. He didn't know what was going on. <laughs> you haven't been walking up out your sleep? I mean, 12 years old. you realize old, where you at? Yeah, and that must have traumatized him right there because he woke up trying to defend himself. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Yo, I'm not going to go that way. Hell, I ain't doing my... Oh, no, we got one. No. Still up at 2 a.m. Miles was terrified, to say the least, as he was yelled at and forced to leave the cell by two guards. Unfortunately for Miles, this was not the... He was slobbing. Only the second time was a bit funnier since Miles was caught. He died. On the side of his face. Hey, you made it all the way through. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, drop a like. Alright, man, this is. Y'all, then. <laughs> Let us know what y'all think about that. Comment down below what y'all want us to react to next. And yeah, subscribe to the channel. We truly appreciate it. Turn on your post notification bell. And we'll see y'all soon. Peace. Peace.